Welcome back to a new vlog. Right now it's Friday morning and I just answered a ton of emails. <laughs> I basically woke up, did my skincare, and then like immediately sat down and started doing emails. And now I'm like, okay, I'm starving, so I'm about to run outside, but I'm like, before I do that, let me put on a little bit of makeup first <laughs> so that I'm not like, I don't know, scaring anybody. <laughs> but this little this little outfit that was in my last video my thursday video on the like what is hampton style where i talked about like fashion and just like summertime dressing and i was like you know i actually like that little outfit that i put together with the white linen shirt and it's just so casual and comfy it's like loose and i feel like it's the perfect thing for like just working at, from home sitting at your desk so that's that so i'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on i already put on mascara like my foundation and my concealer because i wanted to review with you the new glossier solar paint so this is a brand new product from glossier they finally released a bronzer a bronzer i think was the only like major beauty product that they had left for the most part to release they pretty much have released everything else and the bronzer was always like when are they gonna do it and i love the fact that they did a liquid one so i want to just quickly review this and in doing so i wanted to do like a full glossier look so i've already done like the glossier skin tint on my face and then i did the concealer as well so the next would be bronzer so i love like when reviewing a product using all of the same in the brand because it's like it work they all work what better together so I've actually been using this all week because I think I got it either early early this week or late last week. But anyways, all right, so it's a bit better lighting over here by the mirror. So the way that I've been doing this is obviously just putting on the places that you would normally apply bronzer. So I kind of go up here. And I'm careful not to go too far because when I blend it, it's going to extend it even further. So I just kind of go in the hollows of my cheeks. I love that it's this really skinny applicator because most bronzers are like a huge applicator, but this lets you get really precise, especially on the nose. So when you just want to like come down here like that on your nose, it's like a tiny little line. So I like to do that and I like to just kind of go on the thinner side. So not like that, but turn it like this and go over my nose like that. That's just what I think um, looks best on me. And then I'll just do like a couple little things. When I, I, I'm looking at like where actually is my skin like just a tiny bit, you know, sun-kissed and just covering that. Don't really follow necessarily what you know exactly about bronzing and just look at your own face and try to figure out like where has the sun been hitting my face this summer? What do I just need to enhance what's already there? And I also like to do under my lip here a little bit because it makes my lip look a little bit more like <laughs> just like a little fuller. It's like a little trick. So tiny bit under there like that. And then I don't like to blend it immediately because then it will just basically go away. So I'm going to let it sit for like a second, answer a couple more emails and then come back and blend. <laughs> <sighs> all right back it's about 60 seconds to a minute 30 later so maybe a little bit too long but anyways i'm taking this brush this is from rare beauty and just going to blend that out So that's really all you need to do and I feel like it just gives a little bit more life to my face and then I'm just going to follow with the halo scope and then the cloud paint for a full glossier look. Today I'm going to use the halo scope in quartz and the cloud paint in puff. And then for a casual at home look, 
running to get a smoothie. I'm going to use the new Ultra Lip in Lucite, which is this really light pink, soft color. It's after six o'clock, I think it's 6.30ish. So I am just getting ready to shut down my laptop. I just did all my dishes and I got a package. And I just threw this on. So I don't know if I like this as much as I thought that I would. This is a skirt from Aloe. It's like this, it's like this brand that does, it's called Aloe Yoga. And they do like active wear. And it's kind of like a tennis skirt and it was sold out for a while but I put my email in to be notified when it came back in stock. And then when it did, I bought it. And I'm kind of like not as impressed with it in person. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure on it, but let me know if you guys like it or not. I'm also not really sure when or where I would wear this exactly because I feel like if you play tennis then like or golf or something like that, then you have a reason to wear it, but I don't really have anything like that. I don't do anything like that, I do like, bar, which you need leggings for, cycling, which I wouldn't, I don't really think I'd wear that cycling, and then like dance and Pilates and all of those are more like leggings sports, so I don't know, but we'll see. And then I got a white sports bra to wear with it too, but there's my package down there. I just didn't like it on, it just did not look right, so instead I put it with this top that I also just got from Outdoor Voices, and I like that combination a lot better. This is cute. Um, Outdoor Voices really makes their clothing with like women in mind where they just build it for women's bodies versus aloe. Isn't as good at that, I would say. Like, the thing that I don't like about aloe yoga is that it's not the case with these because this is a skirt, but on their leggings, they don't do like the thick band that like sucks your stomach in. They do like this tiny band, so it's like you can't wear their leggings unless you're already really like fit. So that's my thing with aloe. And plus, I think <laughs> I think a lot of <laughs> I think a lot of aloe yoga's leggings are also see-through. So, anyways, I'm not a huge fan of aloe, but I did think that this skirt was cute. But I am a huge fan of outdoor voices, so that's why I love this top. And it's just a little. Crisscross on the back. So that's cute. So, oh, and then, and then I got this little pair of socks too. I already put them away, but basically what they look like is these are socks for basically bar class, because you know how in bar class you have to have socks that are like grippy on the bottom. I thought that these ones were so cute because they look like little ballet shoes. So I was like, this is perfect for me because so many of the socks that they make are like these black socks and they just don't really go with my outfits because I wear such light colors and it's like black socks. <laughs> so it's such a contrast. So yeah, I like these ones. I love these. So I'm definitely going to be wearing those in my bar classes for the rest of the future time. Also, I got my decennio order. If you guys saw the last vlog, I was measuring out my wall for like a gallery wall. And I got all of the frames in, and then this is all of the images, so we'll have to do that this weekend. Um, maybe on Sunday or something when I have a little bit more time. 
but I'm just gonna quickly show you the images so this is like the smallest one that I have this one I think is really pretty it's like a girl with this really grand tool pink dress this is a oyster that's painted gold with like a pearl in it so I feel like that is so pretty um, this is like a line drawing with a Chanel earring and then these are just some fire escapes because you guys know I love fire escapes these are definitely like fire escapes in Soho which is where I live and then this one I feel like is just kind of funny I love this because I used to be a gymnast and a dancer and so we would wear leotards all the time and just the fact that she's like picking her wedgie I think is so funny because like I don't know that's just like what we always <laughs> had to do and I love this pink sparkly so and then I got like a big one this is a girl running through a door and it looked so like I don't know just gorgeous and then this really big pink flower so hopefully I can arrange those nicely and I hope that they look good and that all the sizes worked out. I had some difficulties with the sizing, but I feel like once it's all up there, it'll look really nice. all of my laundry is dirty and I've been taking so many classes like workout classes lately which is a good thing but yeah I only had some like old stuff <laughs> left so yeah it's just what I'm wearing but anyways I'm walking back to my apartment now and <laughs> what was the last time I think last time I talked to you was right before I went to dinner last night so last night Lyle and I went to dinner at this place that was I forget what it was called but it was really good and it was right on Bleecker Street. And afterwards we went to this place called Mace, which is a, it's like a cocktail bar. And they make these really interesting cocktails that are like, have all these crazy ingredients in them. And it was just really nice. So yeah, I would totally go back there again. And then this morning, I basically woke up, had a croissant with Lyle, and I took this dance class. So the dance class is at this place called, basically the dance class is called Dance Cardio Plus and I love it. I found it about four or five years ago through ClassPass and I don't think ClassPass really exists anymore because of you know the whole pandemic but um but I mean she uh, it's like this woman named Elizabeth and she has this class that is like a dance class and she basically started it on her own and and obviously like it's been over a year since all of us have been in this class but it was like so cool that it was like the same girls in the class and we all remembered the dances and even though it's been so long and Elizabeth is just so inspiring so I'm just like so happy that I found the class and I feel like like obviously I used to do dance growing up so to me just taking a dance class every so often like really warms my heart and just the fact that it's like a smaller class and um, you know, like you know the teacher and you know like recognize people in the class. It just makes it such like a heartwarming thing, I guess. Like it's hard to find those like smaller boutique things in New York City because so many classes are so like big and there's multiple locations. But this is just like a small independent thing and I think it's so cool that she started her own business and she was saying how this was like her dream and then she just went for it and she's like, guys, like if there's something you wanna go for, go for it. I'm like, ah, 
you're so inspiring. So yeah, I just feel so happy that I just took that class. But yeah, so now I'm just walking back to my apartment. Um, Lyle has a friend's birthday today, so I'm not really gonna see him that much today. But I am instead going to see my friend um, Jessica who I used to work with at a previous job and she moved out of the city during the pandemic but she comes back to visit and her and I love to live our little pretend gossip girl life <laughs> so we're probably gonna meet up and hang out and then go to dinner later and yeah that's pretty much it showered and got changed my hair is still all wet but what I'm gonna do right now is take off my gel nails because I got a manicure two-ish weeks ago and I decided that if I'm going to be getting gel I can take it off by myself at home in a safe way because if not I basically like will rip it off and then it makes my nails thinner and it's not good for your nail beds obviously but recently I found these little things on Amazon so they basically look like this. They're like little clips. They, have, they sell different colors. And you kind of do like the way that you would where you like first file the top of the nail. And then once you've gotten it kind of rough, you basically soak a cotton pad in nail polish. <gasps> I have no nail polish remover left. No, I can't do this now. Okay, well what you would do, I'm gonna have to come back and do this another time, but what you would do is file it, soak this in nail polish remover, put it on the top of your fingernail, and then clip this little thing on it. And then you can basically leave it there for about 20 minutes, and then once you take it off, you should basically be able to scrape off the gel, and then you're good to go. So, dang, I was gonna do that, but I guess I'm gonna have to save that for another time. But anyways, yeah, so these are kind of like the equivalent of, uh, I don't know if you've ever done this with like tin foil. You could also just wrap your fingers in tin foil, but I find it kind of annoying to, first of all, waste tin foil. Like these are obviously reusable. And then also just like ripping them off and wrapping them yourself is kind of annoying, especially when you have like almost all your fingers done and you're like trying to do it without them falling off on the last one. So that's why I was really excited when I found these and obviously these are on Amazon. I think they were like pretty cheap so I will link them but total game changer so okay I'm gonna do, do that another time I also got stopped at Cha Cha Matcha because I found myself yawning a little bit this like today uh, I think I didn't get a lot of sleep this week and I'm not a coffee drinker but I do I can do a good matcha so I'm gonna text Shaz and see where she's what she's up to Go closer. Let me pull back. Then you pull One,
got done hanging out with Jessica and her friends. So I basically went to go meet up with her. She and I used to be coworkers. So we used to work together at when I was at HBC, which is like Saks and Lord and & Taylor. And we, um, she actually ended up moving to Virginia during the pandemic and everything. And so every time she comes back, it's like a little reunion, which is so fun. And she's also into all the girly things. Like she also loves pink and pearls and she always has like red lipstick on and she's super like girly and fun like me. And so she and I just love like going shopping and everything. So I met up with her and she had a couple friends with her as well. So we went to La Pacora Bianca, which is um, right near here. And we, I had like some zucchini, um, what are they called? Zucchini fritters or zucchini fries? I don't know, there was like fried zucchini. And we got like Aperol spritz, like a lavender Aperol spritz, which was yellow, but it was delicious. And then we just walked around, we did a little shopping. She and I went into Burberry. I was, I tried on a trench coat, I was like, I, like I'm so tempted to get the trench but maybe when it gets like more into like the fall or the springtime when it's coat season again and I tried on the sales associate said that the one that I tried on was like one of the most classic styles it was called the Kensington and it was in the color honey so yeah it was really nice um, I actually have no idea how much it was <laughs> it doesn't say it on the tag and I just don't know, but I took a picture of the tag, so maybe I'll look it up online. Um, and she helped me take pictures of, of it in the store. It was actually, it was actually really cute. So it was really fun. And then we tried, and then we went to the Real Real, which is like a, a luxury like consignment store. And then we wanted to go into Chanel, but the line was really long and I was really nervous because I'm like I've never actually gone into that Chanel although I think maybe one time but like I always like a, a store like Chanel I'm always like ugh, I'm so nervous to go in because I feel like there's so much pressure to buy and sometimes the sales associates in, in Chanel are, like aren't as like I would say like like friendly I don't know as like a Dior or a Burberry where they actually are like just generally really nice um seems to be a little bit more snobby and Chanel I don't know but maybe that's just all in my head but she was basically like no like you need to go into the Chanel store like even if you're by yourself you need to go in and you don't have to buy anything and I'm like okay maybe I'll go in <laughs> so at some point um so yeah they're basically they're going to the edge which is this cool like really high up almost like balcony thing where it overlooks the city and you can see the whole skyline and everything um and I didn't get tickets with them um so I didn't there were none left unfortunately but I am going to meet up with them for dinner later we're going to go to Serafina and then afterwards I think you're going to go to the PhD rooftop which is like it's a classic rooftop bar here in New York so yeah we're gonna do that but in the meantime speaking of Chanel I just finally took off <laughs> my gel polish I ended up getting this 100% pure acetone nail polish from Dwayne Reed and then now I'm just going to repaint my nails for dinner because we're actually gonna get dressed up for dinner. Where like she was like, I love that she loves getting dressed up too because I love getting dressed up. And so yeah, it's just one of my favorite things. Cause it's like, I have friends that like drinking beer and going to dive bars, which isn't really my thing. But then I have a friend like Jessica who likes like getting dressed up and like, you know, like going to nice places and stuff. And that's like, I just love, I just love that stuff. So I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm like being, I'm gonna repaint my nails before dinner. And I actually just recently got this Chanel nail polish. So this one is in the color, I think it's Ballerina. Yes, Ballerina. It's a very, very, very light pink. And that's like my ultimate pink color. So I actually haven't used this yet. I bought it at Bloomingdale's. I saw it online and I really wanted it. And I take this off and then it's just like that. But yeah, just gonna paint my nails and I'm watching YouTube videos. Then I'm going to pick out my outfit and meet them for dinner and just have a nice little night. So I'm really excited for that. Ooh, this nail polish actually, you can tell is like a good quality. Ugh, I'm so excited. With a light color like this, I usually do three coats, definitely at least two, but potentially three. My nails are a little bit messed up from the gel, but I 
turned out pretty good. Alright, guys, I realized that I forgot to update you before I left, but I'm in an Uber right now on my way uptown to Serafina because I am meeting with the girls for dinner. Um, I actually did think I mentioned this later, but yeah, I put on this cute little dress from Zara. It's the strawberry dress. I love this one. And I am finally wearing the Dior clip that you guys keep being like, when are you going to wear it? I'm wearing it. So I'm really excited. I like got ready super, super quickly and I'm like running late. So I'm hoping I will get there in time. Um, but yeah, so that's it. this morning it was nice to just sleep in and last night was really fun so we went to Serafina we had pasta it was yummy fun grill time just you know grill talk <laughs> and having you know some fun and then afterwards we went to PhD because that's where they were staying and so it was convenient it was a rooftop it was kind of cool you know seeing the skyline and stuff and but it's like very clubby so it's you know you know you know what I mean <laughs> but we got a little picture and sat in the corner which was like right where the skyline was so that was cool we had a really good seat and yeah and then this morning I just woke up and I am doing my laundry so I just spent the last like hour just doing my skincare makeup and then sorting through my laundry oh and I'm wearing the same outfit that I was on Friday cuz I don't know I just like this outfit now <laughs> But yes, here is my laundry ready to go. So I have this big Ikea bag and that's full of like my sheets and stuff. And then here is like my lights and my darks. So I'm just gonna bring this over to Lyle's and do my laundry and usually while I'm there, I'll bring my laptop. So I'll like do some work on my laptop, like editing videos and like editing any photos or just like planning new videos or anything. So yep, I'll just do that. And then the update on this is that I actually, so I flipped one of these over and I looked at the back and the way that this is here is that it's kind of like the back of the 
uh, the back of the print is like pushed in and then it has all of this hardware on it so I can't use command strips because this part is like there's this gap here so like it wouldn't even reach the wall and I don't think I can put command strips on something like this so unfortunately <laughs> I'm going to have to put nails in my wall, which I was really hoping to avoid, but I mean, it's okay. So I have only six nails, so I need to go to a hardware store and get at least two more or another little pack of them. Um, but the only thing is, is that a lot of them are closed on Sundays, at least in this area that I've seen. So I might have to go this week and we might have to do this in the next vlog, but yes. Also I cut myself. <laughs> I was sitting at my desk and I like folded my legs under my desk and it went shh right across. Ow. Um, so I might put some Neosporin on that, but anyways, yes, laundry day. For me, that's what Sundays really are, is just a day to like get my life together. So it'll be laundry doing some editing and probably grocery shopping later. <clears throat> At Lyle's now. Laundry is in the washer. Got my suitcase over here. Dryer's in there. And I'm just sitting in the kitchen on this little chair. And I think I'm just going to set up my laptop and do a little bit of work. I went to Think Coffee and got a grapefruit juice, which actually is my second favorite to orange juice, cause sorry, <laughs> my suitcase is rolling away. I love orange juice, but they were all out of orange juice. So I was like, oh no. And then I saw grapefruit, I was like, okay, let's do grapefruit. And then just a plain croissant. So yeah, and I'll probably get like maybe a salad later or something. So I just kind of figure, but okay gonna do some work. Alright, so I'm done doing my laundry now and I am like very tired, like very very tired. I don't know why but I just like, you know when your body just feels exhausted? It's kind of like that and I'm also cold. It's interesting because this weekend and a couple days recently it's actually started to feel a little bit like fall, which I knew was crazy because, well, today's actually August 1st. Um, so it's for sure still summer, but I like to think of it in this interesting way where I always, I almost think of it as like a scatter chart where if the months were like July, August, September, October, and the chart kind of had like a pattern and all of the dots for different days, I don't know. <laughs> um, and like as if, you know, when you're going into fall or when you're going in to like to spring or to fall, um, it's like the dots follow a pattern, like they're following a line, like depending on what you know what season you're going into but there's always like a one dot on the scatter chart that's like way over here way over there and I feel like today and yesterday were one of those dots that were just like off of the pattern and they've been chilly so I don't know I think it's interesting but I'm also a little bit excited because I always feel like there comes a time in the middle of a season where I'm just like bored of the fashion of that season. So although I love spring and summer, they're my favorite seasons, I'm just bored of summer clothes, spring clothes. I feel like I've gotten everything I wanted to get. Nothing else is really exciting me as much anymore, but I am excited about the possibility of getting all new fall clothes in the next, sometime the next month or two. So that, that to me is exciting. Um, so I'm excited for that, but, oh yeah, I'm like, it's actually, is decently cold out, so I put a sweater on, I'm about to go grocery shopping, but like I said, I'm like, cold and I'm tired, so right now I'm just like, <laughs> under my blanket because I'm like, oh, I don't want to leave, but I know I need to get groceries for this week, and if I don't do it now, on Sunday, then as soon as this, the work week starts to get busy, I'm just going to be like, oh, I wish that I already had food and I don't have to go out and buy anything. So yeah. So I'm like trying to motivate myself to go now. But I think it was just doing my laundry for hours today and like lugging my heavy suitcase up five floors. <laughs> I'm just like, my body is like, no more. Just want to chill. Going to suck it up. Put my shoes on grab my bags, I made my grocery list, and 
I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a grocery haul because I know that you guys love them. <laughs> Two big grocery bags this time. First thing I got, of course, was some flowers. We have to have the floral arrangement for the week. <laughs> so this week I just got these ones. I'm not really sure what kind of a flower that is actually. Oh, a doll, doll, dahlia. It's about $4.99. So $5 for some beautiful flowers that will make me happy all week. I got some bananas of course all right <laughs> I got this pizza thing because I feel like it would be easy one night and the ingredients ingredients didn't look too bad so yeah I'm gonna throw that in my freezer I got so I'm going to make this recipe this week I will leave a picture on the screen I don't know if I'm gonna make it tonight but it's like this quinoa with really yummy like veggies in it and then these like mozzarella balls <laughs> And it looks really good, but it's you have to let the quinoa cool. So I think maybe I'll make the quinoa tonight, let it cool in the fridge, kind of like prep it ahead of time, and then make the rest of it tomorrow night for dinner. So two ingredients that were part of that were some cherry tomatoes and then this zucchini squash. So if I don't finish these, I'll also just chop them up and put them in my salads for lunch this week during work. I got some parsley and some thyme also for that recipe. The peas are also for that recipe. I got frozen ones because it's so much easier. I got, of course, some frozen mango and some frozen pineapple because I like putting these in my smoothies and the best ones come from Trader Joe's. I got some Argentinian red shrimp because <laughs> uh, you guys know I love this shrimp and I got some tempura cauliflower which I've never tried before but it looked good so I might try that one night seems pretty easy just the heating so that'll be a quick little fast dinner for one my freezer is getting really full I don't think I've ever I, since I've lived here I've had my freezer that full <laughs> oh here's the little I don't know how you pronounce this, Sealy Genie? <laughs> I'm definitely, definitely just pronounced that wrong. But it's, you know, when you get those little mozzarellas that come in like the little balls. <laughs> okay, so I have to get a sweet thing. I always have to get something sweet because I just like, I always have a sweet tooth that I need to fulfill. <laughs> so this week I saw these in the, that aisle. And it's, there are 12 classic lemon bars. And they just look so good. I love lemon bars. So hopefully there's, these are good. I have not tried them yet. Um, but yeah, hoping they are good. I got a red pepper and a yellow pepper, which are also going to be for that recipe that I make this week. Two avocados, because that's about how much avocado I eat in a week. I'll do a half per salad. So that's about four salads worth and then one day maybe I eat something else, so that's usually about how many avocados I eat in a week, just by myself. This week I got some lemons, just four. One is going to be for the recipe I'm making, and then the other one will just be to have, to put on my salads, really anything else that I'm making. It's always good to just have a lemon around. I got a cucumber for my salads. So this one, this week I got just like one giant cucumber because I feel like these are more like in season growing in the summertime so I got that also I got a red onion that's also going to be for that recipe it will be very good so I guess I'm not going to be making it in this vlog sadly but I will link it in the description box and I will share it when I make it on my on the fashion squirrel Instagram so definitely follow me there and I will have to post it when I make it and I got the quinoa for the recipe I also got some couscous just for just making stuff whatever and then I got some coconut water which I always like getting from Trader Joe's because it's a cheaper one and I put that in my smoothies in the morning and balsamic vinaigrette dressing I do like making my own dressing these days because it's a lot healthier and it's very easy to do but sometimes I'm just so busy during work that I don't have time to make it and blend it up 
Um, so instead, I like to just have something that I can quickly grab. So that will be this. And then lastly is this garlic non crackers because I know I'm going to want something easy to just grab and snack on. So I'm just being realistic with myself this week and I'm getting these. And that is it. So I think I'm just going to pop that pizza in the oven for dinner and yeah, just kind of have a very chill rest of the night. <laughs> good night guys I was about to go to bed and then I realized that I didn't say good night goodbye anything <laughs> so good night good end of this vlog I am <laughs> going to bed I have my Invisalign in and <laughs> and tomorrow is Monday so Gotta go to bed Sunday night and get some good rest before the week ahead. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and enjoyed another little weekend vlog. Definitely don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check out my Instagram of course and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye.